All right, sir. I already fixed the error on this. I was able to, actually I remembered that this computer had an error with the production manager, similar to what you're getting. And my cure for it at the time was to reinstall into another directory in copy over settings, etc. Anyhow, um, so yeah, I went on the internet and found fairly quickly a cure for this problem of the C++ runtime error for FlexiSign App 2, which is the production manager. You can see here I actually created a shortcut. This went to the, an alternative uh, directory. But when I try to launch um, from FlexiSign 7.5.5, um, and I went to the rip and print or cut and print, it would do the C++ error. So the cure to that, according to the internet, which obviously worked, is to go to your program settings, or uh, since you're in XP, if you're in Windows 10 or 7, or B, it'd be different, but uh, just find the programs folder, and it would be under FlexiSign, and go to, so you can see I've got a few versions of Flexi here, but for this particular one. And then we're going to go to Clear Preferences. And then it's going to ask you, would you like to clear the application's pre uh, previous preferences? Yes. So you click that, and it shoots out and wipes out all the, uh, I think it's an XML file. And anyhow, so what's going to happen is you're going to launch FlexiSign. And all the settings, you got the little tip thing here. I'm going to turn that off next you can see it's all kind of back to its default setting so in order to get us we'll do I told you that the, the cure is gonna be fixed pretty quickly and I can show you that real quick just by clicking on, on that and then we want to go to uh, cut and then it says on this computer and this is where you normally get the crash so we're gonna wait you can see production manager is loading And now it's asking for a setup because it cleared out all the particulars about the uh, production manager. So for your um, use, we're gonna go to um, Final Cutters and we're gonna click on uh, Roland. So I just click anywhere here, you can just scroll down or I just hit R and then there it is, Roland. And then we said it was a uh, Cam 300 and then next, and then we'll just leave the name there, next. And the COM port, I don't remember what the COM port was prior. I, th I think you figured that out. It's one of these COM ports. For me, it's COM port one. Well, actually for me, uh, if it was, like I actually now have to do my setup, um, but mine was um, a Graph Tech uh, USB, which is not showing up. Hmm. Oh, you know why? Because it's not a Graph Tech. <laughs> Okay, so anyway, you would add that in. You go hit, hit, hit finish. You got your, um, your your cutter there. And I don't recall if we had any um, defaults that we needed to adjust. Um, I pretty, I'm pretty sure we don't need to do anything other than if you want it to delete the job after it's been sent. Now, uh, it may be, I, I think for our purposes, we want to keep, keep it on hold just because we're still in that learning phase. So, okay. And then, um, and then you want to close the production manager, but not until you've actually exited the rip, the cut and rip, or cut and plot, and done. And then um, go to here, and then we'll close it. And that saves the settings permanently, and well, permanently as much as it could possibly be, considering we cleared the, set, the settings. But now we've got issues here with all our defaults are kind of messed up within uh, FlexiSign. So. Uh, one of the first things we want to do is change our page size. Uh, right now, 24 by 36. Um, well, it's up to you what you want to do, but I like to do uh, what I have uh, normally used. So it's 30-inch uh, media, so we're going to put it at 28 inches tall. And then we'll do a nice long uh, thing. We'll do it like um, 80 inches. And then once you got that set, we're going to go over here onto the Design Central and set as default. All right, now nothing's going to save until we close, close uh, FlexiSign and reopen it, but we got other things to do. So um, the t you see all the tool menus are gone. So we'll go ahead and add, if you click on the top, right mouse click on the, or yeah, right mouse click 
on the top of the window. I'm not sure if the, I don't think the, let me minimize this a little bit so you can see what's going on because I don't think it's showing up on the camera. This is a, this monitor is really a weird aspect ratio so I have to push the thing back. So anyway, right mouse click and we'll, we'll add um, path edit. Just throw it in the bar up there. We'll add, um, and then we'll add uh, a line and then we'll add um, distribute and then we'll add, um, I think that's a bit it for now, but I, mean, I typically typically will go ahead and add effects and add uh, combine. I'll add those in there just because that's what I use. And I, I know you won't be using that, um, but that's how I would set it up. And then before we go ahead and shut down, um, I'm gonna go up to edit preferences. So edit preferences. I, no, you can't see that because I maximized the window again. Um, let's see if I can tilt this up because you don't need to see the taskbar. There we go. I think it's see. That's good enough. Good enough. Okay, so um, let's click on save document every 10 minutes. Um, let's go ahead to file path. So this is going to be, you're going to browse. Um, your C drive. So right now it's going into the default folder for uh, where it wants your documents and that's not cool. So you can either click on my documents or I think um, in the local drive he has a directory that says like desktop old file or something like that and, and then you would just say okay so I'm gonna click on my documents for now and say okay so that that'll be your your um, kind of permanent home every time you open up uh, the program it'll automatically go to there um, and then everything else is fine so we'll click OK and then now we just need to close don't save and now you can reopen it and now you can see that our default page size is 28 by 80 automatically we still have all our tools up there and things are good to go so now it's just a matter of uh, making sure that our file path was open correctly. So here it is, my documents. It went to my documents um, folder instead of the default FlexiSign documents folder. And yeah, I think that's it. There's probably some other things that um, I missed. I usually don't find those until I need them. But, uh, oh, uh, I guess one thing would be uh, you could go ahead and set your default uh, lettering size and default font. So uh, for Mr. Kranzer, I probably recommend uh, the Optima font. I don't, oops, design. As I hit a shortcut key for um, for an oval by, I meant to click on the A here and then go to O. And okay, so on this um, computer, I don't have the Optima font, but I would go ahead and find, let's say Old English was, was his favorite font and then I would make it like a two inch tall by 100%, leave everything else uh, the same as it would normally be. And then you would, now when you click on here, see I didn't actually click on the whiteboard or the pasteboard area with the text tool, I just, I just put the text tool in my hand so it has the A around, I'm not sure if you can see that, but so it's ready to start typing and then I changed my type settings. And uh, another thing you might do, is center um, align? He might use that. I don't know. Actually, I, I really don't know. If that's a good idea or not. But anyway, any of these settings that you change right now are going to be permanent in the um, configuration file for the settings. So I'm going to go ahead and close FlexiSign so it sticks, and then reopen it. And that should be enough so that you can go ahead and start designing. And see how the, the, the font is um, defaulting to that that font, and then um, you can just go ahead and click on the cut and print, a cut and plot. I'm not sure if it's plot and cut, cut and plot. I think it's cut and plot. And you can see that the production manager is opening up. Got our setup still there. It's ready to rock and roll. Now here comes the cut and plot menu, and boom. So. I, I'm not sure how we got the um, the C++ error. Might have been some disconnect by closing the production manager prematurely or it crashed or something happened. 
so I don't really know um, but you can see how it's orientated right now and, and it's got the 30 inch media as default and yeah so um, a little quick thing too is that the, the, the cut and plot will remember some of these settings for you so if you want to put a weed border on it I would do that now um, there's also um, horizontal weed lines and vertical weed lines so those are pretty cool um, they'll actually split between the letters um, with uh, which is really nice for weeding um, so it might do a practice test on those and see which ones the vertical and horizontal depends on how you're laying out the the thing I think it depends on how it's laid on the plotter but it may be how it considers the, the font if the font is a horizontal font um, it will consider it it the lengthwise I'm not really sure you you gotta have to play with that but anyhow um, yeah so I would say give it a go